back to my channel this is live and learn thanks so much for taking time to watch today's video and before i get started i want to remind you that one of the ways that you can support this channel if you do enjoy my content is you can subscribe i would encourage you to do so make sure you hit that thumbs up button make sure you leave a comment make sure you share these videos with as many people as you think would benefit from the topics that we're discussing on here I also want to mention that in the description of this video, you will find my Instagram and TikTok handle at live to learn coaching. You can follow me on those platforms for more content. That's also where you can reach out to me directly. If you have any questions, if you uh, would like to know my opinion on something, if you'd like me to cover something on one of these videos, or if perhaps you'd like to inquire about my coaching services, reach out to me on Instagram or TikTok at live to learn coaching. You will also find in the description of the video, three opportunities to donate financially to this channel. And I want to thank those of you who have already made a financial investment into this channel. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. It goes a long way. It's not something that you have to do. But again, if you do enjoy what I am bringing to the table on YouTube, if you do think that this is a worthwhile and valuable uh, channel, then financial donations go a long way. Again, not something you have to do. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. Now, I recently made a post on my Instagram account and I was talking about benefits of, of working with someone like myself. Right? Let's say if you wanted to hire a coach, what is, what's the benefit of working with me? And I just kind of talked about how, you know, basically for me, it, it's, it's something that, that I take personal. It's something important to me to know that whatever I'm, what, whatever I'm advising someone, whatever I'm coaching someone through that I want to see them get the best out of what I'm trying to bring to them in their situation. I want to see them take hold of what I'm saying, what I'm trying to teach them, what I'm trying to coach them through and really be able to utilize it for themselves and really understand that where I'm coming from is a place of, uh, it, this is not just about me helping you in exchange for, for payment. Yes, it's a paid service. Yes, there's value to what I bring. Yes, there's value to my coaching and to my advice. Absolutely. But that's not what this is about. My goal is to help you. My goal is to help this person improve, to overcome whatever obstacle they're trying to overcome. Now, what I didn't get to talk about because, again, it was kind of <clears throat> kind of short. What I didn't get to talk about is the opposite of that. And, and some of the things that I've seen in my life, and I, I told you, I, this is not a religious channel. I don't talk about religion. I don't talk about, really talk about faith. I, I do have a faith. I have a, a background. I grew up in church. And I don't really talk about that on this channel, not because I have a problem with it or because I'm ashamed of it. Absolutely not. It's just that that's not what this channel is for. This channel is for anyone who would like to take part. And unfortunately, sometimes religion, spirituality, faith, it, they draw firm lines and, and people feel like they can't engage. And, and I don't want that. Now, here's what I'll say, though, regarding my experience in church. You know, we have I grew up around leaders. And I've seen leadership, you know, pastors, ministers. People who not only did they have a title, but they had a, a certain amount of respect from others. In some cases, they had a certain amount of dependency from others. People were very dependent on them, on their words, on their advice, on their counsel. And for the majority of it, majority, at least from my experience, you may have had a different experience. The majority of my experience was I could understand how they had developed this, how they had gained this respect and this dependency because they were they were wise. And they cared and they had a heart and they were there for the people. With that being said, I can recall now, looking back, at the time, I didn't think of it that way. But now that I look back, I can recall hearing advice that they would give people, individuals, couples. 
And now looking back on that, I realize that it was bad advice. It wasn't good. It wasn't the right thing to give that person, to give that couple. And, and I don't say that to, so that we can bash these people, these individuals. Listen, I'm, I love people. I want to help people. I have every intention to help someone overcome their situation. I'm not a perfect person. I haven't seen it all. I haven't experienced it all. I have bias. I have blind spots just like everyone else. I have hangups just like everyone else. So I'm not trying to hold these people to a different standard than I would hold myself. I'm just saying that I've seen this and I have to be careful as a person of influence. I have to be careful of, as, as a person who's in this, in this role of, of coach, of advisor, of counselor, of pastor, right? All the pastor is, is a shepherd. Someone just, they're, they're guiding, they're leading this journey. And, Essentially, a life coach is doing the same thing. I am put in a position where I need to guide this person. They're looking at me for guidance. They're looking for me to help them through their situation. That's a lot of responsibility. And so going back to what I said in that, in that story of mine on Instagram about the benefits of working for me is my intention and I focus on this, is to ensure that whatever I'm saying, whatever my next steps are for you as a client, is to ensure that you, the individual, are, are understanding my communication as, hey, these are instructions to help you. This is advice to help you where you're at get to a different place. And I've got to be able to tailor that to individuals. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to make mistakes. And it doesn't mean that I don't understand the consequences and the weight of the responsibility that I have as a coach, as an advisor, as a counselor. However, I can't be afraid of that. I can't. What I can do is I can take people on a case by case basis, make sure as much as I can make sure that they are a good fit for me and I'm a good fit for them. And we go from there. But I don't take the responsibility lightly is what I'm trying to say. And <clears throat> maybe you can think of some areas in your life. If you're a parent, right? Parents, it's, it's kind of the same thing. We have these little ones that are looking at us and they're, they're watching us. They're going to do what we do. They're not going to do what we say. They're going to do what we do. You know, and, and as a parent, I, I understand that as well. And really in this world, right, where do we go, our workplace, who are we? What, what are we? what are we giving off? What, are, what vibes are we getting off? When's the last time you ref, self-reflected? When's the last time you looked down deep within yourself and said, what, am I, what message am I transmitting when I go out in the world? Because you don't have to just be a coach to be someone that is making an impact. You don't have to be a coach to be someone that's, that's influencing, influencing others. You and I make a mark everywhere that we go. What is, what is that saying about us? And when was the last time you, you took a step back and said, what is my message? What, what am I communicating through just being myself, where I'm at, in the different areas, different places in my life? So anyway, I go back to, I say all that just to come back to say that not only um, am I aware of the benefits, what I can offer someone, but I'm also aware of the responsibility of it and what that entails. And so I do my best to proceed with caution. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, just me kind of just sharing from the heart, just some of the things that I deal with as a coach, some of the things that go through my mind. And again, if you want to contact me, if you have any questions about my coaching services, feel free to reach out on Instagram at live to learn coaching. Let me know in the comments if there's something that you'd like me to cover. 
Let me know if there's something that you want me to talk more about. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.